Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and I'm coming to you with a puzzle of a type I've never done before and this is a puzzle by Directionary called Look and Say Killer. Um, and really, I'll just get into the puzzle apart from say, uh, please come and join us on the um, Sudoku Solvers Discord, details below. Uh, below will be in the description below will be a link to where you can do this puzzle. Um, and if you like the video, please like, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because, um, yeah, a, saying those words apparently makes YouTube want to, uh, spread the love a little bit more, um, and more subscribers means that YouTube will spread the love a little bit more. But anyway, on to the puzzle. So this is a look and say killer by Directionary, and it uses a rule set that I've never seen before, which is the way that this works is these are not normal uh, killer cages or little killer clues. Um, so the links provided will have all of the conflict checkers and everything turned off, I hope, um, because the way that you need to do this is if you look at any cage or any of the little killer clues, the way it the way you have to read the clues is if we look at this cage, for example, where it says one, three, two, four, what that means is in this cage, there will be one, three, and there will be two fours. And if we look at this cage where it says one, one, it means there will be one, one in the cage. This cage will have two sixes. And this little killer clue means that on this diagonal, there will be two sixes. So what, where it says look and say is we you say the clue out loud and it's telling you how many of that digit will be in the cage so you can have you must repeat digits in the cage because what there will be is repeats based on the number of those digits that you have to put in the cage i've never solved anything like this before it looks really interesting so let's give this a shot so well this must have one one in it so we know that the one must go in here. Um, and really, I'm just going to pencil mark to start. I can't think of any other way to start this. And let's see what we find. So this must have one, three, and two fours. So we do know that there must be, because this is only in two boxes and it must have two fours, this will be where the fours are. There'll be a fours in this box must go in here and fours in this box must go in here, which means four will be down here because the four in this row will be taken up by the four here and the four in here will be taken up by here. So four in row three cannot go in those six cells. Um, okay, this cage must have two sixes in it and you cannot put two sixes in this cage. So this must be a six and the other six must go here. I'm, I'm really just looking around. This box must have two twos in it so one four and two twos so these three cells are all in the same box so this must be a two which means the other two can't go there and must go there and that means there will be a four there but these fours are knocking out that and this must be a four and now we've got the one four and the two twos this is really interesting there are two eights in this box, and for the same reason, one will go here and the other will go in one of those two. There are two ones here, so this must be a one, and then this must be a one, and the other one will be one three, so that becomes a three, because we must put, yeah, so this is the same thing. We can't put the two ones here. We can only put one of the ones here, so one had to go here. And once we've done that, you can't put a one there. So that's how you have to fill that box. We've got to put two threes in here. So there'll be a three in there. The other three will be somewhere in there. And then there'll be one one, and the one one can't go there. So this is a one three pair, and this can't be the one. This is the three, and this is the one. And then somewhere in here is going to be a three. Um, there'll be a six and a seven in this box. And in this box, there needs to be three fives. So these need to be fives because they're the only two cells that are not in this box. And then there'll be a five and an eight in there. 
and we can't put the five there or there. So there'll be a five in those two, which means there'll be a five in those two. And there has to be a one in this box. And so one in this box is in this row, but there has to be a one in that box or that cage. So it has to be there. And then we have to put a two somewhere in here. So what have I missed? We need to put a two. Is it a two or a three? It's a three. We need to put a three into this. And this three is knocking it out of there. So this is a three, four pair. And this will have a four in it. So we've got the six and the seven. We've got the three and the two fours. We've got the one. We need to still put an, a nine and a three into here. So this cage is not done. We've got the three fives and the eight. Well, we can't put eights there anymore. So the eight will go in here, pencil marked. We've got the one and the two. We've got the two eights pencil marked. We've got the two sixes pencil marked. So we've actually got a lot of the pencil marking done. Okay, this must have three nines on it, and it's only five long, and we've already got two digits on it. So these are all nine. And then this must have two sixes on it. Well, we can't put a six there, because there's already a six in the box. So this is a six, and then there'll be a six in one of those two. but we're starting to run out of obvious stuff. Two, two puts two in one of those two. One, one puts one right there. One can't go there or there or there. So one has to go in one of those two. In this box, Oh, but in this box, one is in one of those two, which means that's not a one and that's a one. One is not here or here. Actually, no, this is a one here because of the one in box nine. So now one is in one of those two. So we've got one and one, five and eight in here. Five must be here, eight must be here, one must be here. We're starting to run out of obvious stuff. This is not a three because of this three. So the second three is in here. I should have got that earlier, which means we have to put a three down there. We've got to put a four down here because of the four in here and here, putting a four down here. This puzzle is fascinating. I hope we see more puzzles using this rule set. This is very cool. Ah, oh, of course, six had to go into one of these two, but there's a six there. So that's not the six. This is a six. So that means that the threes and the twos, okay. So... It's very weird that you get so many initial placements done and it really feels like most of the clues have been used. But I feel like I'm running out of options. That's very unusual. In column five, I need to put three in there. 
and that's because I can't put three here because of that three or here because of that three. So the three in column five is in one of those two cells, which means this becomes a one three pair. These are six, seven, eight, nine, which means nine goes here, which puts nine up here, which I could have got just from the fact that I can't put nine here or here. So nine is up there. I am going to pencil mark that. This feels very weird. Like it feels like I've used all the clues. Like, not completely. Like, this has been used, this has been used, this has been used, this hasn't, this has, this has, this pretty much has, this has, this has, this has, this has, this has, and this has. So the only clue I haven't used is this 1913 clue. The three must go in here because I can't put it here. So the three is going to be in here. So the rest is going to have to come down to Sudoku. Okay, so six and six put six down here, but I can't put it there because of the six sevens up there. So six goes into there. Oh, this six looks over. That can't be a six, so this is a six. That puts six in one of the... This becomes a five-six pair, but I can't put six there. So this is the five and this is the six. This means that this is not the six and this is the six. These are now a triple. Four, seven, and eight... And there's a three, four pair looking at that. So that becomes a seven, eight, and that becomes a four. This is now a fixed digit. This couldn't have been a three for ages. I should have seen that a while ago. So this is the three out of those two, because this is the three, four pair. So one, two, three, four, this is a five. So we've now got five up here. Actually, five is in one of those two. This is four digits, which is two, four, seven, and eight. This can't be eight. There can't be a seven in here. That's not as restricted as I might have liked. Five must go over here now because I still haven't put five in row seven and I can't put it there or there. So five is in one of those two and that five is knocking out that one. That's the five. So I still need to put a two in one of those two. But these are two, four, and seven. This one can't be a four. This one can't be a four because of that four. I feel like I'm both racing through this and moving really slow. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven, eight, nine. This one can't be a nine. So this is a seven or an eight. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. And there's actually, there's a seven, eight pair. So this becomes a nine. This is not a nine. So one, I need a two, three, four. So this is a two, four pair. Does that mean fours are lining up? How did I get the four in here? Because of the fours here, four must be down here. So four is there, four is there. Four must be in one of those three. This is intriguing. This 
six must be in one of those two. There's a lot of stuff being dumped into this cage. Because the six here and the six here means six is in one of these. So four must be here, six must be here, three must be here. These can't be... I can't put five or eight in here. So this is one, three, seven, eight, nine. And I can't use eight in here. So these are one, this can't be one. This can't be one. These are three, seven, nine. I'm really not sure where I'm supposed to be looking. So these are one, three, seven, eight, nine. I don't see where that can't be any of them. Column five, maybe, because I did get that restriction, uh, some restrictions earlier. So three, five, seven, eight. Well, this can't be three or five. So that's a seven, eight. So this is a seven, eight pair. So this is a three, five pair. And this five resolves it. That's the three. That's the five. So that takes three out of both of those. Forcing three into those two, meaning that's a four, that's a three, that's a four, that is not a four. Three, three, three is in there. Four, four, four is in there. This really is fascinating. And look at this column, because this is a quadruple of two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two, five, seven, and eight. Well, that's not five. And that's not five either. So this is two, seven, eight. So this is five. This is two, seven, eight. So two must be in one of those two. This being five, yeah, that all lines up. So this is two, four, seven, eight. Oh, eight has to be in this box. I can't put eight there. That's seven. That's eight. That's seven. That's eight. That's seven. There's no seven in here. This is a two, eight pair. Eight had to be down here. This seven, eight pair could never have held the... So there's no seven here. This is two, four, eight. So this is, of course, a known triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no seven here. This is a three, nine pair, making that a one and that a three. This now must be the eight. So there's no eight here, which I've got as soon as I got that. I've still got to put a five in one of those two. Hang on, this now has to be a one. Five is in one of, this is actually a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, and seven 
go in here and that's resolved by that five. This is a seven, this is a five. I've still got to put a two in here, which is not resolved. This really is a fascinating rule set. Now the three is going to go in here, that's fine. Two, three, four, seven, and nine. So these are two, three, four, seven, and nine. I can't put three into any of those because those ones are not in this cage and that one sees that three. So two, four, seven, nine. I can't put four up there because of those fours. Hang on, I can't put three in any of those or there. That has to be the three. In this column, this is the only place for the three. This is the nine. Means nine can't be in those ones. I'm, this feels very strange. Two, four, seven, nine. I've got to put a six in here. Hang on, I've still got to put an eight in this cage. This has to be a six, eight pair because six, eight and six, eight looking in, this is a six, eight pair. So this has to be the three. It's the only place I can put it in that, in that cage. This can't be the four, this has to be the four. Which makes that the two and that the four. This is a two, seven, nine. Hang on, that two means there's no two there. This is a seven, nine, and this is the two. There's no two here anymore, which means the two in this cage needs to go right there, which takes two out of both of those. This now is known that has to be the three, and this is going to be four, seven, and nine. This can't be the nine, so this has to be the nine. None of this is hard Sudoku. It's just the ramifications of these cages. Are... You're just not used to thinking it. Like you see this six, eight pair, but that actually has no ramification on this because I've got my, I, what I don't have is I don't have a nine in here because of this seven, nine pair. So the one nine in this cage has to go there. And this cage is now done. This is a really interesting thing to think about. And this is given, this this is now, seven in this box must go here, so I can't put seven here. Seven in this box must go here, so I can't put seven here. And seven in this box must go in one of these three cells. So the only place I can put seven is right there. And now I can do the same with sixes. Sixes must go here in this box and here in this box. So in this row, this must be the six. This must be the eight. This is clever. This is the two. This is the eight. This row is only missing one digit now, which is a two, which looks down here, making this a seven, which makes this an eight, which makes this a four, which makes this a two. The four looks across, making that an eight. The two looks across, making this a four and this a two. The four looks over, making this a seven and this a four. This now needs to be six and eight, this eight resolves it. This is the six and this is the eight. 
These need to be 5 and 9. The 5 here resolves it. This is the 9 and this is the 5. The 9 looks over making this a 7 and this a 9. And the 7 means that this is a 7, 6 and this is a 7. Finishing the look and say killer by directionary. That was just a good fun puzzle. I'd never had to think about using cages in that way before. Directionary, set more of these, please. Or someone, set more of these. This was good fun. Um, yeah, I really liked the way you could get some initial deductions. Like there, you need to put two twos in this cage, so you needed to immediately, you could place the digits, particularly for a cage like this, which I didn't notice at first, where you need to put three fives, but there's only two cells that aren't in that box, so you can immediately place them. Um, that's really powerful, particularly considering they will point into the cage. But it didn't just make the puzzle blindingly easy. You still had to then figure out what was going on. And then as you could figure out this 7-9 pair up here at the end, for example, it means that, oh, where am I going to put the 9 in the cage? This was the only cell left that could be a 9. And then all of these pointing 7s over here putting the 7 in, which forces 6 into these, which moves back and forces this to be the 6. Very cool stuff. Not... This is the sort of puzzle that I really love. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you gave that a try. Um, that, that was just good fun. Um, I look forward to seeing you all. Well, you seeing me and me presenting a puzzle to you again tomorrow. Uh, good luck everyone with your solving.